hey y'all how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing great welcome to valentina's corner so in honor of nurses week let me put this well yeah so in honor of uh nurses week i wanted to come up here and quickly wish all of the nurses out there a very very happy nurses week week i feel like all of us deserve it we do such a good job in what um we love at least most of us do i believe <laughs> in what we love and we deserve to be praised the job of being a nurse is not an easy one um some people may say well y'all get paid for what you guys do yes but there isn't really a dollar amount that you can put on the work of being a good nurse there is a difference between a good nurse and one that is just doing it for the money and you will only really understand that when you are in the patient seat when you are the patient and you're receiving care um and not to say that if you're not a patient and not receiving care you will not understand that but a lot of people who question what i'm saying and they say oh well y'all get paid for what you do that's maybe when you will really understand what i mean nurses the job is hard y'all is really really a difficult job and even if you love it so much you will be tested so many times on whether it is really the field that you want to be in because man it, it, it's not easy but one of the things i wanted to talk about in this video is really about um immersive week when you're at work we are showered with a lot of food a lot of like different restaurants want to like provide food like on different days of the week um some of the times like the manager or like the supervisors or like the bosses or whatever company you work for or hospital you work for like would have coffee or they would have donuts or they would have on other days they'll have like food food items things like that to kind of like just celebrate the nurses and it's amazing it's great we love it but you know what really what nurses really really love what we really really want what we really really want is a safe workplace not for ourselves only but also for the patients what really shows gratitude to nurses from now on forward i'm going to be honest is creating an environment that is not of how do you call it hostile for work and what i mean by that is providing appropriate nurse patient ratios uh, nurses that love their job really want to see their patients getting better they really want to be part of that process of getting the patient to really um, obtain positive health outcomes but it is hard to even see that happening when you are bombarded with so many patients or whatever floor unit you're put on it's difficult to even monitor progress basically you're working like a robot just administering orders and moving on to the next one which makes your job so not rewarding that way what nurses really want is a safe work environment for all an environment where nurses can grow in their field where nurses are able to um, understand what's happening with their patient are able to report what's happening to their patient and are able to implement nursing interventions you know in a safe manner that is what nurses really want that's what we want for nurses week we want a safe working environment we want an environment where we can um, balance family, we can balance life with work. Many nurses are overworked right now. Nurses are working so many hours because many companies are short staffed. Um, I think that one solution is giving opportunities to new grad nurses. One solution is giving opportunities to nurses that had diplomas. Like take that back into nursing. Like why is it that diploma nurses are no longer um, what is required or, or, or what, what is needed in hospital settings if we have such a huge shortage. I think that if we lowered a little bit um, the type of degree that nurses needed to 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 work to at least implement some sort of you know safe within reason nursing care to like diploma nurses where maybe they would just need a little bit less than two years um, that like an LPN would need to like graduate uh, maybe like a year or like maybe a year and three months or something of a diploma type um, uh, um, certificate where nurses could work under the supervision of an LPN or a supervision of an RN to, to you know, administer like simple medications, do simple wound cares and kind of like 
you know, fill in the gap of where we have all the nursing shortage, I think that would really help a lot, not only the nurses, but it will also help the, the, the patient because they now would be getting better care. They would be getting the attention that they need. They would be getting everything that they need, you know? So I think it's important that um, as nurses, um, we speak for ourselves and that we let the world know that these are the things that we really want to see happen. That is how we are really celebrated, not through food, because we can buy our own food, not through uh, numerous amounts of coffees. It's just gonna give us a crash. <laughs> You know, we really, really want to take good care of our patients and we want to do that with the support of our employers. Um, patients are suffering every day because they're not being taken good care of. There's a lot of negligence that is put under the rugs because of this problem. Lots of companies out here are showing to surveyors that they have so much staff in their companies when it's time for surveys. But when it's that bracket of survey time is over, then it's back to the shore staff. And it's just not fair. If you as the employer were to be in the hands of healthcare, if you were the, on the side of being a patient, would you want to be cared for a facility or a hospital that was doing the same to you? No, you wouldn't. And we nurses that love our job and we like caring for people want that. But we also want to be able to manage our job with being good nurses. I mean, manage our job with being able to manage our homes, manage our families. We don't want to be working, um, like say you work seven, seven, seven to three, and now it's like one o'clock and here goes your DON roaming back and forth because she's wondering if she's going to have a nurse to replace you after your shift is over. And then now she doesn't have anybody because she didn't schedule anybody. She's going to ask you and not really ask you, but kind of passively force you to stay for an extra shift and do a 16 hour shift. And this doesn't happen just once a week, maybe two times a week, three times a week. And you kind of feel compelled to say yes, but you know, guess what? You stay in seven to three. Now you're doing a three to 11. You don't get home until midnight, one o'clock. Now you're getting back up in the next day doing the same thing. How are you going to be mentally there, mentally ready to care for your patient in situations like that? How are you not going to make mistakes? How are you not going to be negligent? You are going to be negligent. You are going to be making mistakes. So I plead to whatever, I don't know if it's the nursing board or whatever, to bring back the diploma nurses, to give more opportunities to people who maybe are only, um, they, they can only afford getting a diploma, but have, you know, knowledge. Maybe um, have these nurses, all of them complete a, a CNA course all of them have to have it and then do an extension of a year for a diploma type nursing and then the year and a half for the LPM program and then the ADM program for the two years and then now you go to higher degrees which is the BSN and the MSN and all of that but just still bring those nurses who you know were diploma nurses who have added so much value into nursing and also hospitals hire these nurses hire <coughs> new grads hire LPNs hire <clears throat> I have to drink water. Hire and train CNAs who can now become techs in the on the floors to really help the nurses care for patients. Like we need to do better when it comes to healthcare because being on the other side, um, as a patient myself, in some of the best hospitals in the nation, I've realized a lot of lack in good care. Um, and also by being a nurse, looking at things in a critical eye, being a nurse and also being a patient, we could do better. We really, really could do better. So this is my spiel for Nurses Week. I hope you all nurses are having a fantastic week and that you really are taking the moment to thank yourself for being a great nurse that you are. And I hope that um, you really do enjoy the rest of your week. All right. Ciao.